Okay, so today, uh, while I'm still waiting for the heads and the cylinders to come back, I started doing some more cleanup on this. I did pull the rings uh, out of the piston, so I'm going to clean the grooves out later today. I kind of mark these off with duct tape so you don't scratch the pistons. Today we're going to pull the cam cover off because I want to check the uh, tensioner in here because I'm going to Harley today, maybe today or tomorrow. Uh, I went there to see if they could get me the rear brake line because it's a continuous brake line all the way to the cylinder. And of course it's discontinued. Uh, so they did find one. I, I don't remember where they found it from. with will be twin or something like that. I I saw them on JP Cycles and Dennis Kirk, but it, it didn't seem like this block lined up very well with the switch. They do have a new switch too, so I'm going to pick up a switch when they uh, come in. It's supposed to be in today, but I don't think that I'll make it up there today, probably more likely tomorrow, because I wanted to pull this cover off. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to replace this. I didn't notice this until I got this up on the table. If you can see right here, there's some chrome missing off of it. So I'll probably replace it uh, just because if I want to replace it later on, i got to pull the exhaust off and all that other crap, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So while I got it off, I might as well just replace this cover now. But we're going to check the chain tensioner the, uh, to make sure that that's okay. So if we got to replace that, we'll do that. Uh, in the meantime, I talked to them about this front wheel to see if they had any better information on these spacers. So the spacers uh, are kind of easy to figure out. You just want to measure the rim to make sure that it's centered in the forks and then you can adjust the spacers. However, what they told me was this is not the 2001 wheel. Uh, this more than likely came off of an 85 to 98 heritage because this has Timken bearings in it and uh, the 2001 Springer had sealed bearings. So, um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do now because you can see on this tire, uh, this is the wrong wheel for this um, year. It should have a different wheel on it. And I'm trying to figure out if I can get, it looks like this is three and a half inches and it's supposed to be three. But I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to find out what it's going to cost to have this, the 2001 wheel put on. I don't know if you can even get those anymore. I don't know. I'm going to talk to them when I go up to the Harley deal or so. All right. So we've got some... What else am I doing on this? Oh, yeah. I, I loosened up the uh, the bleeder valve and the rear brake, brake line. You know, so when I get this, it's all ready to go. I sprayed some uh, PB blaster on it just to make sure it wasn't frozen up. Uh, I got some inserts that are going in here that are chrome inserts that just kind of, you know, go in with double-sided tape. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that, but... I wanted something to kind of dress this back up without having to go the whole chrome route. Uh, I am getting uh, chrome bolts because this this thing had these little caps on them that they go over the the bolts like that. I don't I'm not a big fan of these just because you can only use them once. Once you take them off, you can't put them back on. And that was the reason why the heads had all that hot glue on it because they took them off the heads and. Well, they took them off another bike and put them on that, and the only way to keep them on was to hot glue them on. So, I do have new, you know, all new chrome bolts that are going on those heads and everything when they get back. So, all right, so let's look at this uh, cam cover, and uh, we'll take that off. All right, so we're going to take this off. I got um, one of my favorite YouTube channels up right now. Let me see if you can move the camera. You can see it. If you see him over there, that is Vice Grip Garage. Uh, pretty cool channel. I've been watching him for a long time, and uh, pretty funny guy. So let's. Uh, all right. So let's get going on this. Okay, so one of the things I'm looking for in here 
is if there's any material from that tensioner. I'm not seeing anything in there. Uh, let me move this camera and uh, we'll look at it inside. So let's look, uh, see if we can see anything. There's still oil draining out, so it might be kind of hard to, but I'm not really seeing anything unless that's some right there, but it does look a little worn, but I'm probably gonna replace it just because I'm down here and I've got it open. And uh, you know, I'll have to check the rear. I'm gonna have to get the tool to take this off because uh, that's all under a lot of pressure. I think that's like under 40 pounds of pressure. Uh, and I don't want to break anything or more or less break a finger or something. So I'm going to have to get the uh, the chain tensioner removal tool. I know there's two. There's one for the front and one for the back. And then, uh, you know, we'll pull the chain off and take a look at that. Okay, I don't know how well... Um, this is going to show up, but you can see the cam tensioner is pretty well worn. I mean, it's, I mean, I could still probably get some life out of it, but you can see it's missing. It's starting to degrade on the top. So we're going to replace this. Uh, you know, normally you do this with bikes with, you know, 50, 60,000 miles. This one only has 26,000. So we're going to uh, replace it, which means I'm going to have to pull the plate off to check the rear uh, chain tensioner tube because I think the rear one actually goes out more than the front one so we'll have to send away for the the tools to uh, you know release the tension on that and we'll have to uh, just change it I'm not going to do anything with the oil pump so I'm not going to take some things off I probably you know I'm going to have to pull the, I'll pull the lifters out just to inspect them and see what they look like so I will pick this up when uh, I get that tool in okay so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video there's nothing I can do with these cam tensioners anyway until I get the cylinders back on uh, because I've got to rotate the engine and line the cams up and everything when you know I I take that off so that's something else that's gonna have to wait so I'm gonna let the rest of the oil whatever's in there drain out for a while now that I'll put the cover back on uh, probably the next thing we'll be doing is the clutch cover, uh, get that out of the way. I've got, already got that in with the new clutch cable and then we can work on the, uh, controls, the hand controls, cause I'm waiting for the chrome switches to come in. I've already got the, the, the chrome controls. I just, uh, waited. I hadn't decided if I wanted the chrome switches or not, or if I just wanted to leave the black switches. Plus we got new grips coming and I still haven't decided if I just want to keep the original grips on here. So. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me some comments below. What do you think? Have you ever done the cam tensioners uh, on your bike? And let me know how that worked out for you. And uh, I just ordered some of the parts, so they should be in, you know, in a few days. But who, I don't know when the cylinder is going to be back. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.